James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <laughs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria?
<laughs> Laura? Huh? You know my name? Eddie told me. That big fat blabbermouth. How do you know about Mary? What's the big deal? Why can't you just tell me? You gonna yell at me if I don't? No, I won't. I was friends with Mary. We met at the hospital. It was last year. You liar! Laura, I... Fine, don't believe me. But last year, Mary was already... I'm sorry, Laura. Anyway, let's go. We can talk about this later. This is no place for a kid. There are all sorts of strange things around here. I can't believe you haven't even gotten a scratch on you. Why should I? Wait, wait, there's something I gotta get. Later, okay? But it's really important. What is it? A letter from Mary. Huh? I wanna go get it, is that okay? Yes, yes. Is it in there? Yeah, in the back. What are you doing, Laura? It's further back, in the desk. Laura! What are you doing? Open the door, Laura. Why should I? I'm a liar, right? Want me to open it? Huh? Huh? Do ya? What's the magic word? Laura? Okay. I guess it won't open it. I think I'll just leave you like this. You snotty little brat!
okay? Angela, relax. Don't order me around! I'm not trying to order you. So what do you want then? Oh, I see. You're trying to be nice to me, right? I know what you're up to. It's always the same. You're only after one thing. No, that's not true at all. You don't have to lie. Go ahead and say it. Or you could just force me. Beat me up like he always did. Ugh. You only care about yourself anyway. You disgusting pig. Angela. Don't touch me. You make me sick. You said your wife Mary was dead, right? Yes, she was ill. Liar! I know about you. You didn't want her around anymore. You probably found someone else. <sighs> That's ridiculous. I never... Eddie, what are you doing? What does it look like? He always busted my balls. You fat, disgusting piece of shit. You make me sick. Fat ass, you're nothing but a waste of skin. You're so ugly, even your mama don't love you. Well, maybe he was right. Maybe I am nothing but a fat, disgusting piece of shit. But you know what? It doesn't matter if you're smart, dumb, ugly, pretty. It's all the same once you're dead. And the corpse can't laugh. From now on, if anyone makes fun of me, I'll kill him. Just like that. Have you gone nuts? I knew it. You too. You're just like him, James. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Don't bother. I understand. You've been laughing at me all along, haven't you? Ever since we first met. I'll kill you, James. Tried to chew its own guts up. 
finally died all curled up in a ball. Then he came after me. I shot him too, right in the leg. He cried more than the dog. <laughs> Gonna have a hard time playing football on what's left of that knee. You think it's okay to kill people? You need help, Eddie. Don't get a holy on me, James. This town called you too. You and me are the same. We're not like other people. Don't you know that? Let's party!
Eddie? Eddie? I... I killed a... a human being. A human being. Mary. Did you really die three years ago? I was weak. That's why I needed you. I needed someone to punish me for my sins. But that's all over now. I know the truth. Now it's time to end this. Mary? When will you ever stop making that mistake? Mary is dead. You killed her. Maria? It's you. But I don't need you anymore. What? You must be joking. But I can be yours. I'll be here for you forever. And I'll never yell at you, or make you feel bad. That's what you wanted. I'm different than Mary. How can you throw me away? I understand now. It's time to end this nightmare. No, I won't let you. You deserve to die too, James.
Mary? <coughs> James. Forgive me. I told you that I wanted to die, James. I wanted the pain to end. That's why I did it, honey. I just couldn't watch you suffer. No. That's not true. You also said you didn't want to die. The truth is, I hated you. I wanted you out of the way. I wanted my life back. James, if that were true, then why do you look so sad? Mary? James, please, please do something for me. Go on with your life. In my restless dreams, I see that town. Silent Hill. You promised you'd take me there again someday. But you never did. Well, I'm alone there now. In our special place. Waiting for you. Waiting for you to come to see me. But you never do. And so I wait. Wrapped in my cocoon of pain. And loneliness. I know I've done a terrible thing to you. Something you'll never forgive me for. I wish I could change that. But I can't. I feel so pathetic and ugly laying here. Waiting for you. Every day I stare up at the cracks in the ceiling, and all I can think about is how unfair it all is. The doctor came today. He told me I could go home for a short stay. It's not that I'm getting better. It's just that this may be my last chance. I think you know what I mean. Even so, I'm glad to be coming home. I've missed you terribly. But I'm afraid, James. I'm afraid you don't really want me to come home. Whenever you come see me, I can tell how hard it is on you. I don't know if you hate me or pity me. Or maybe I just disgust you. I'm sorry about that. When I first learned that I was going to die, I just didn't want to accept it. I was so angry all the time, and I struck out at everyone I loved most, especially you, James. That's why I understand if you do hate me, but I want you to know this, James. I'll always love you. Even though our life together had to 
in like this. I still wouldn't trade it for the world. We had some wonderful years together. <sighs> well, this letter has gone on too long, so I'll say goodbye. I told the nurse to give this to you after I'm gone. That means that as you read this, I'm already dead. I can't tell you to remember me. But I can't bear for you to forget me. These last few years since I became ill, I am so sorry for what I did to you, did to us. You've given me so much, and I haven't been able to return a single thing. That's why I want you to live for yourself now. Do what's best for you, James. James, you made me happy. <laughs>